how much does torque affect uh, heat buildup in the connections in your motorhome, RV, boat, whatever you're using a 12 volt battery for. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Ofgrid Power Solutions and in this uh, very short episode we're going to be doing a test to determine uh, the effect of the, the torque on the temperature of your various connections. So, uh, you know, everybody knows that, that the tighter you can make things, the less uh, heat loss there is or the less heat buildup there is. And so we are wondering, rather than just talking about it, uh, if we actually uh, had three sets of cables running in parallel and we um, talk them to six, eight and 10 newton meters and measure the temperature of these connections, uh, just what the story will tell us. So let's get on with it. Right, so let's take these two and put them together. So join the first cable with uh, the first temperature probe. These are these temperature probes were just these little cylinders that uh, we pushed into simple lugs. Uh, we've done various tests using this and it's actually worked out pretty well. Second cable or middle cable. And the final cable. I'm going to torque these up now. So we're ready to do the final torquing of, of these, but just to explain the whole setup sort of end to end. Um, we're going to run this black cable shortly straight off the uh, negative terminal of the battery. I need to first use the resistor so we don't get a big spark. Uh, but we've got three positive lines. These are 10 millimeter cables and they coming from bus bars on each side as you can see. Uh, so we're going to be talking the first one to six newton meters, second to eight, and the third to 10 newton meters. So what uh, we've got the, the three temperature probes there, you can see they're not exactly the same. It looks like the battery in this white one might be newer than the two black ones which are, were bought at similar times. But yeah, we'll, we'll take a note of the starting um, temperature and then we'll run uh, this test for about uh, I guess for about 20 minutes half an hour uh, so this is a 200 amp hour this is our workshop battery so it's got a cigarette lighter and USB takeoffs and that and for traveling and things like that um, and so that should be plenty of juice coming from there uh, this is a two kilowatt guy and Dell inverter and then we're going to run a standard uh, heater off that so let's uh, get glasses on to protect eyes and uh, let's get some talking going on. So uh, just as an aside, this is the Wera torque wrench, uh, click torque, it's called. Um, we've used quite a number of different torque wrenches and this is by far the best for this kind of work. Uh, it obviously for very, you know, small, very precise uh, torque. So this goes from 2.5 newton meters to 25 newton meters. It's very accurate. Uh, I love the way this thing locks so that you can't change it by mistake when you're working it and it's just a really really nice torque wrench. So they, they're not uh, cheap, they're quite expensive but highly highly recommended. So I've set it to six so I will torque the first one to six. That's at six. Let's right. so open this up and take the next one to eight. Eight newt meters is already quite a high torque, really, for this sort of thing. It's a pretty high torque already. 
I'm not expecting that to have much heat bleed. And 10, um, I know I'm going to have to turn this thing pretty darn hard to get the 10 newton meters going. This 10 is very tight for these uh, 6 millimeter bolts. But it's quite doable. We've often done it to 10 newton meters when we have very high current draws. It's good to go. And our spanner has got stuck on here. So all talked up. Going to uh, get this onto there, so charge the capacitors so we don't have a spark. So that's tight, there's a tight, tight there. These are all ready to go. And if we look at the starting uh, temperatures, we're on 4.3, 6.8, and 3.8. Uh, these are, we know that this is about one degree higher than these. They're still settling down from me holding them and warming them up a little bit. Uh, so we know that this is about a degree higher than these two, and these two are very similar to each other. So we'll take that into account at the end. Let's turn this off initially. Getting our heater going now. First stage, second stage. So we are on about 1.9 kilowatts and the uh, voltage has already dropped to 10.6 on here, which is quite a big drop already on these, but that's interesting. Let's do some tests. So let's see, on the battery. 11.1 and uh, on the, let me get my glasses on so that I don't hurt my eyes. Ten point nine, so a little bit of voltage drop on here, not that much, just a bit. You can see these are starting to <coughs> go up. Really, the 10 newton meters is um, already the lowest at 8.4, and the 6 newton meters is already gone to 10. So these are supposedly very similar, but remember this is reading a degree higher than that, so this would be about 9 ish. So we've run this for about uh, 15 minutes now and as you can see there is very little difference. So we started at roughly 3 degrees centigrade and we've gone to around about 28, 29 on all three of them. And I have to say this is not what I was expecting. Uh, I really thought that the 6 newton meters would uh, climb well above the 8 and 10. I was ex expecting 8 and 10 to be quite similar to each other. Uh, because actually when you tighten it, you, you know, 8 is quite a tight uh, feel in these nuts and they, I don't think they're meant to go much higher than, 
than 10 newton meters um, if they stand still if they uh, high tensile obviously they can um, so very interesting that they are uh, very similar heat buildup and one of the reasons why we wanted to run this test at six was that quite a few of the battery the cells that we have tested uh, we felt that six newton meters was the tightest that you could uh, tighten things on the terminals and um, when we've gone over six on some cells we've stripped them and then we've had to put in helicoils and things like that uh, so but now I'm curious to see you know so is the sweet spot six millimeters uh, six newton meters or more it doesn't really matter um, and then other factors come into play, such as the surface area that's really making contact on the lugs, the way that you've crimped them, um, uh, I don't know, resistance in the cable. I mean, you'd expect them to be identical. So uh, are other factors coming to play? Because it looks like the uh, 8 newton meters is actually faring better than the 10 newton meters in this test. And in fact, at one stage we thought, mm, maybe we didn't, uh, tightened the 10 newton meter enough and we nipped it up a little bit and the temperature went up not down uh, after about a minute after we had tightened that even more so very interesting results so what we're going to do now I'm going to uh, undo these and retalk them to uh, quite an extreme range to 4 7 and 10 so we leave the 10 as it is uh, but we're going to undo so, as usual, glasses on first to protect the, the old eyes. And uh, I'm going to bring this down to four. It just feels crazy having something such a low torque. Four newton meters. Imagine having something so loose. So, undo it first, then let's talk it up. <clears throat> yeah, that's such a low talk. Anyway, it's part of the test. And the switch was 8, we're going to bring it down to 7. So three newton meters increments. Bang on seven. There we are. So we now have four, seven, and ten newton meters. And uh, what's our temperature look like? start with a very similar 16, 17 and 16. They've cooled down quite quickly and we shall get this back on. I'm just going to straight up. So 11.8, 11.7 volts, 1.9 kilowatts. Uh, let's see what the BMS says. And we are drawing 172 amps according to this. So that would be about right. Battery is at 68 percent. So if we don't have heat build up on this uh, a 4 newton meter cable, I'll be quite surprised. Let's see what it does. One of the things I thought I'd do while this is running and see what amperage is actually running through these. Uh, I, w I was assuming it would be a similar amperage, but maybe I'm completely wrong. So zero this. So this is about, what, 56.8 amps, 57 amps-ish. So you can see this, which was the four newton meter, was 57. This is running at 62 amps, and this last one is running at 65, yeah, at 56, sorry, 56, 56.6. So uh, 
Our assumption was correct actually, the very similar amperage is running through the three cables. So it's not as if uh, the higher you talk it the more amperage it carries or the more current it carries compared to the others. They're all carrying very similar amounts. So we will observe this heat build up now and see what it's doing. Right, we've been running this test for about uh, uh, 10 minutes now and as you can see uh, slight, uh, slightly more heat on the 4 newton meter connection um, but still not a material difference so final conclusions uh, firstly we are running roughly 180 amps through here 170 180 amps uh, which is being split as we saw using the uh, clamp meter quite evenly between the three cables uh, so that means that each each connection is carrying about 60 amps and uh, what we can see uh, the difference in torque is really uh, not affecting uh, the heat buildup with something as low as 60 amps so 60 amps is not a small amount of current but it's really not that big either we've we've always felt that with our enclosed batteries that 100 amp continuous is the sort of sweet spot where you don't get heat build up within the enclosed battery uh, as, as soon as you go above 100 so let's say you go to a 160 or so uh, 160 amps for a while which is around about 1.9 kilowatt uh, that you're running so a fan heater like this um, then we know that you'll start your heat build up uh, luckily, uh, virtually all cells will deplete before the heat buildup becomes too excessive unless you're in the tropics and your battery is already starting off at about 40 degrees ambient and uh, it's going to heat build up quite quickly and uh, you're going to have a shutdown. So, but here as, as you saw at the beginning it's about 3 degrees centigrade, so pretty cold. Um, uh, so it's a good good test in uh, in in a coldish environment. Uh, it doesn't really matter wh whether you're uh, four, seven, or ten newton meters. Your heat buildup is going to be pretty much the same. And uh, in a next episode, we are going to uh, stress test a single connection. So we'll use a 35 or a 50 mil cable. This I think is a 50 here. So we'll use a single. Uh, positive cable that we're going to run at uh, 10 newton meters uh, for about 10 minutes see what the heat buildup is like uh, let it cool down a bit um, loosen it to uh, 6 run it again loosen it to, to uh, loosen it sorry to 8 run it again and then to 6 and run it again so on the same cable that will be carrying and the same connection that will be carrying roughly 180 amps 170 180 amps it's going to be uh, interesting to see if under those circumstances we have radically different heat buildup. Um, so it'll be slightly different time but we'll run the test uh, you know just one after the other so there's not a change in ambient temperature or not a significant change in ambient temperature uh, but using exactly the same cable the same connection the same temperature probe. So if you stick around and uh, join us for that episode uh, maybe that will uh, tell you some handy information that you need to know. Cheers folks.